What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Just starting off up close because I like showing off my Cancer Bats t-shirt. She's she's barfing out the name, you see. I'm just kidding. What we're doing today is the Nitrous 22 millimeter RDA, the tiniest single slash dual coil RDA. Well, I'm looking for some hot single coil action today. Here's the thing with this RDA. It's made by Dam Vape. The color is blue. Here's what you get inside, and I legitimately cannot remember where this came from. I believe it came from a subscriber. I want to believe it came from a patron. I went back and watched every vlog vape mail segment from today all the way through the beginning of September, and I cannot find this nitrous RDA in there anywhere. And of course, I didn't write anybody's name down on the bottom. If it was you and it was who I think it was, please DM me on Patreon because I think it was a patron and I'll I'll, I'll give you proper credit. But let's dig into this. This nitrous RDA, like it said, 22 millimeters, nice. This blue reminds me of, you know, the TM24 Pro and he did those in blue. This comes with two top caps. One has an AFC and one is like a cloud cap with a fixed airflow on it. That's the one that I find really interesting. This one says it's for dual coils and it has two big fixed airflows. I don't see why you couldn't use this with a single coil. It even has a matching blue 24 millimeter, probably expands out to make it look like a 24-ish millimeter RDA to match the top of like a 24 millimeter mech. The fixed pin is installed and I never thought I'd be saying this, but I kind of hope there's a squonk pin included because I would like to run on this on that snow cap squonker. Can we get a look at this AFC? That's very firm. Holy crap, that's firm. <whistles> yeah, see, that's kind of the goal with the beauty ring on there. That might look sick. Here's to hoping this AFC kind of maybe loosens up just a little bit if some liquid residue gets in there because it's very, very firm right now. But as you can see, you can use a multitude, any one of those holes combined in different slot formation. Get this over here like that. You could do that. And it's equal on both sides. Here's the deck. It looks like a tiny little postless deck. It's four screws in there. I still think I want to go single coil. Just going to see what you get inside. It looks like there's a squonk pin. Happy days. Happy days. Oh, and you get some coils. Well, shit, maybe we'll use one of their coils. A tool and O-rings and what the heck even is this? This. Is this for coil cutting? What is this? What are you? What do you possibly do? Anyway, let's get that squonk pin installed. As I unscrew this, I'm just going to keep my finger on the deck so it stays, you know, a complete deck. And you know my new motto, always keep an eye on your insulators. Pow, squonk pin. 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 I just got some of my favorite coils the other night from Drip Theory. Customizes it for me. Drip Theory banger coils. I still think I'm just going to go for a single coil in here right now. And I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe I'm just apprehensive because the chamber on the inside looks so small. I'm not really sure what my logic is right now. And here I'll actually be safer and I'll use it on a BP Mods regulated build stand. So that's what the coils cut to a five millimeter in the coily tool. And I think I'm going to do four millimeters in the coily tool. Okay, that was a crazy easy install. I just cut my legs to four millimeters, dropped them right down, screwed down the screws, boosh done, that's it. This coil is what's in there, by the way. Glowing very evenly. Flip this down and see what we ended up with. A 0.2, perfect. This is gonna be great. This is also gonna be the maiden voyage of this BP Mods Pro Vape cotton. It sort of comes in a rope. Can't tell exactly where it starts, so I'm just going to cut it somewhere. Okay, so the stock width of that BP Mods Pro Vape cotton is two and a half millimeters. Just went in perfect. Maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. I just eyeball everything all the time. Cotton just kind of goes like that, I guess. I've been steeping this for a year. Half a bottle of Turk's Pumpkin AF. Because it's about that time of year. Reattach my squonk bottle. Beautiful. It's going to be difficult to show you this just because of how my camera is angled. But when you squonk, you can kind of see where it's going to go. It's going to come out the sides. But it's going to go to your wicks. And if I wicked this correctly, yeah, you can see juice sort of creeping up there. Creeping up 
there. St just keeps creeping up there slowly, slowly. It's just slowly creeping up. I haven't dripped any liquid down on this yet. Okay, I just keep squonking juice into this deck. It just keeps going dry and keeps going up the cotton. That's awesome. I wick this like a boss. Not to toot my own horn here, but beep beep. This is definitely wet enough. Yes, yes, yes. It's kind of awkward because there's nothing on the outside to sort of indicate that you've lined up with the tabs. You just kind of have to do that twisty and feel for it thing. But now that I've got that fixed airflow on there, even though it says dual coil and I have a single on the inside, pop the beauty ring down on here. Now, this is the airflow and this is the airflow ring and it comes completely off. So that leads me to believe that it will loosen up over time, if not get a lot of, you know, RDA for vaping style condensation in there. Oh, the single coil one has an even more condensed down chamber on the inside. I'm using this basically completely wrong right now. And people who have this RDA are probably yelling at their screens right now, but I don't care. I'm going to use it the way I want to. And you can't boss me around anymore. No, we can't do that. I was thinking that would be funny for the thumbnail, but it would just confuse people. All right. Well, that's rad as hell. I'm stoked on this. I'm obviously going to start using this right now. I'm going to start messing around with the air flows. I'll meet you back up on top. It might be after a few days, but I'll, we won't know until we get there. So I spent the entire weekend cranking away on this nitrous RDA and it has been nothing but complete awesomeness. Even though I was using it completely wrong, even using it completely wrong, it was still great. I quickly switched from that cloud cap back to the single coil cap because Look, if I have a single coil in there, I might as well take full advantage of that single coil cap. It's got the adjustable AFC and it's more reduced chamber on the inside. It upped the flavor level substantially. I was getting good flavor before with that fixed air cloud cap in a single coil. And now with a single coil and the single coil cap, great, great airflow. I've even closed the airflow down. Uh, it might be kind of hard to see right there, but I've just knocked it down to that one stripe of airflow holes. Awesome, awesome flavor, awesome airflow. Right now, I'm gonna just certify this as a banger and I haven't even put dual coils in it yet. One thing that I truly love about the nitrous, and don't worry, I'm gonna slip down again today and we're gonna put dual coils in this so we can use that cloud cap because I'm looking for a little bit of crackle, you know? This single coil in here is fine, but it's a .2 on a mech, so, it's just on the cusp of crackle. If this had just a little bit more power or a little bit lower resistance, I feel like I'd be in that creamy crackle zone. So what I was gonna say was, one of my favorite things about this nitrous RDA is you can just squonk with confidence. The way that the liquid is in here, the way that it comes out onto the deck, the way that your airflow is set, the way that it is sort of set in and reduced on the inside, it keeps your liquid exactly where it needs to be uh, it's not leaked on me once. So even though I'm mm, intensely loving this single coil with the single coil cap right now, I feel like I do have to do it justice. It says it does dual coils. So let's slide down and let's throw some dual coils in here and let's actually use that cloud cap. And away we go. Also, I noticed something when I was using the snow cap recently. I was using it with one of those big uh, black, what are they, the Golises? Yeah, this snow cap is designed for 21,700 batteries, but these big Golises, they just, they fit in there and it'll still work fine, but you end up with a, a little crack either on either side. It's just a little bit too big. Oh, would you just look at that single coil sitting nicely in there with that airflow pointed right at it. It's a flavor machine, man. All right, I'll go take this coil out. I'll be right back. I actually ate lunch during that break, believe it or not. All right, it's time for some dual coils. I'm just gonna open up all these screws right out of the gate. Don't worry, buddy, I'm gonna save you. I think I'm gonna do duels of the same coil that I had in there before. So that's kind of where I ended up with the dual coil. It was a two and a half millimeter, same as before. Cut them to four millimeters, same as before. Kind of just dropped them in. I will say this deck benefits greatly if your leads are you know, headed off in the same direction. I think I even have some room to separate these a little bit in there, but we'll see when I uh, check for clearance on the cap. Even the fixed air cloud cap still kind of comes in a little bit, coil turd style inside and impedes on the deck a little bit. So I feel like I'm still gonna need to keep them 
pretty straight and narrow down the center. I cannot get over how perfect for two and a half millimeter this BP cotton is. Now that I think about it, my boss wicking from before um, probably had a little bit more to do with the cotton than me. We'll just apply a juice directly to these coils and I'll spare you the whole, oh my gosh, it wicks so well thing. Oh, those are getting a little riled up. See, kind of looking down in there, you might have a little space to move your coils. I just made sure that there was just at least a gap in between them. Dual coils, fixed airflow. Let's get back up top and vape it. I'm getting tremendous flavor, tremendous crackle. Putting a dual coil in here, this RDA, this is like RDA of the year. I can't think of one thing I dislike about this RDA right now. I ran it in a single coil with the dual coil airflow and it was great. Single coil with the single coil airflow, adjustable airflow is great. A dual coil with the cloud cap is delightful, flavorful, very, very warm. This is a 0.1 on a single 21700 and man, it is warm. This is great. I know I said it was a certified banger before, but this is a certified Grim Green. I don't have a graphic, but maybe I'll make one. Grim Green certified banger. There's nothing this RDA won't do. Dual coils, single coils, non-squonk, squonk. It's 22 millimeters. It has a beauty ring for 24. It comes with two drip tips, two caps. The only thing that I have not checked on yet on this RDA is the price. Thanks, Ben. In stock, $34.99. So that's it. No real vape budget hands needed. If we were going to play the Aliens game, yes, I will buy one right away. And if I'm going to hand out some banana stickers, I kind of wish that I could give out more than five banana stickers, but I just can't. Look, those are the rules. I didn't make them up. I just enforced them. Actually, I did make them up. Five full banana stickers. Five is the best, zero is the worst. The nitrous RDA is five banana sticker material from top to bottom. I kind of can't get enough of it right now. So many people, so many people told me about this RDA and I am overjoyed. I finally got to use it and try it and build it and see the see the joy for myself and get to share that around and just tell you just probably just go buy this okay maybe i'm not saying just go buy this you probably don't need it but if you want a new rda or you're in the market good lord nitrous good lord no shopping links in the description as usual but kenneth warner dean emeritus at the university of michigan school of public health recently made this statement about vaping and i absolutely agree with him i'll have that link down in the description because no matter what's in your hand you guys Absolutely. Let's keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just going to smoke, so 